What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Life Orb Zapdos team alongside Power Herb Claydoly. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across the channel. Anybody who subscribes to the channel, likes up the videos, or just tunes in and watches them really does help me grow as a content creator. But getting started with this team, we're starting off in that top left corner. We got Heatran over here. Flash fire ability, weakness policy as its item. So once we get that proc, we're going to be able to roll out and dominate with that Pokemon. We got Heat Wave and Flash Cannon both for our stab moves. Earth Power for coverage and Protect as our final move. Right below him is going to be Claydoly over here with the Storm Drain ability. So once we get hit by a water move, our special attack is going to get boosted one stage and we're going to get stronger and stronger. Power Herb as his item so we can go into free Meteor Beams with no recharge. We got Giga Dream for Stab, Earth Power for coverage, and Recover to recover HP and stay in the battle a lot longer. Top right corner, we got Blastoids over here with that Torrent ability and Wakan Berry so we can end up with an Electric Shot. But this Blastoids is mainly here just to help out Ally Pokemon. He has Surf as one of his moves so I can hit Ally Pokemon such as Heatran and Proc Policy. Or I can use it on my Claydoly over here, Proc Storm Drain and get a free special attack boost and roll out from there. He also has Ice Beam for coverage, Fake Out for flinches, and Protect for his final move. Right below him is going to be a big part of this team and that is going to be Cantonian Zapdos. Regular form of Zapdos here. This Pokemon has been dominating the rank double ladder. I feel like it is so strong all around. Electric and Flying type. This one has Static Ability. Life Orb as its item for more damage. And then we got Thunderbolt, Hurricane for Stab, Heat Wave for Coverage, and Protect for our final move. Bottom left corner is going to be Dusclops. We can use him to counter Trick Room or to set a Trick Room, considering I believe Claydoly is rather slow and he's going to be able to thrive in that Trick Room. We got Bulldoze, Will O Wisp, Trick Room, and Taunt as our final move. Last Pokemon is going to be Grimmsnarl, and you guys know I absolutely love this Grimmsnarl with that Prankster and the Light Clay item. We got both screens with Reflect and Light Screen, then we got Fake Tears for Special Defense Drop and Spirit Break for our final move. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this Life Orb Zapdos and Power Herb Clay Elite team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Garchomp team alongside with Tapu Fini, Landorus, Clefable for support, Ferrothorn, and Regilecki. How should I go into this one? How should I play this? I kind of want to set up screens and then also get out Zapdos. That could be a decent lead for us. I do dig it. I don't mind it. Do I do it? I think, I think I'm going to do that. I think we're going to go Zapdos and Grimstar for our lead and then have... Who should we have in the back? I'm going to have Heatran in the back alongside with Claydoly. Claydoly could be decent here. But clearly just really thrives in a trick room. But I feel like just as a backhand Pokemon, it could be solid. We have Power Herb and we can probably soak up a shot and be able to get that off. So I'm going to rock out with it and we're going to get after it with this squad and try to get ourselves a win in battle number one. But guys, since we're using Claydoly, that leads me to question of the day. Let me know in the comment section down below you guys' least favorite and favorite fossil Pokemon. For me, I think least favorite has to be the Sword and Shield ones, right? They're not that cool looking. I don't think they're cool looking at all. They're very strong. They're good and competitive. But I don't think, like, design-wise, I don't really like them. And for favorite one, Rampardos is pretty cool. From Diamond and Pearl or Armado from Gen 3. I think they're both bangers. Or Tyrantrum from Gen 5. Tyrantrum's pretty dope. Oh, no, it's Gen 6. Tyrantrum's Gen 6. But, yo, let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. Intimidate is going to pop out here. I believe we're all special attacking, so that is just dandy. That is wonderful. I think I'm just going to set up a Dynamax. And I could Airstream. I could do a lovely little Airstream into Lando. Uh, I could Fake Tears as well. Which I think I'm just going to do instead of set setting up a Reflect. I think we're just going to Fake Tears. Fake Tears instead of setting up a Reflect, and we're going to get buzzing after this Landers. Landers could end up Dynamaxing and dropping a Rock, but I don't see him doing that. I don't see him Dynamaxing. Let's see what he does. He could be Life Orb, so that could be his play. Maybe I should have set up a Reflect, but we are going to get Speed Advantage, which is going to be huge. And I feel like whatever Pokemon we hit is going to go down, considering we're going to Fake Tears, hear it, and get a minus 2 special defense drop. But he is going to end up Dynamaxing. So Follow Me is definitely coming out here, and he's looking for the Rock, right? But I feel like we should be able to eat up a Rock, no problem. Let's see his lovely little play. Let's see his play. So we're going to take Speed Advantage here as well. We are going to take a lovely little speed. Make a move, dude. Make a move. 
Follow me does not come out. So fake tears is gonna bust down and we are at faster in this thing. I wonder what Clefable's going for. Clefable, what are you doing? Here goes my airstream. Can we pick up KO? I don't think we are, but we're still gonna be able to do a decent amount of damage. Oh, we do pick up the KO. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Yo, Landris, get out my game. Get him out of here. Big first turn for us. We get rid of his Dynamax. We get a speed boost and we're starting off on a strong note. So now, depending on what Pokemon he throws out, will depend what screen I set up. Or we might just fake tier again and get after it. Let's see what he's going to go for. He's just going to go for a straight Gleam, which I don't mind. He was planning on just dropping a Rock and then having a Gleam come in and trying to pick up the KO just in case the Rock didn't. Because Rock is not sad for him. A lot of people do think Rock is sad, but he's ground and flying. Ferrothorn is going to get busted out here. Um, He might Iron Defense up, so I think I'm just, just going to Flare up on him. I think Flare should be able to pick up the KO and... What other Pokemon do you have? Do I set up a Reflect here? Do we think he has Garchomp? He could have Garchomp. I think Light Stream would be better. Right? I think, I think we're just going to set up a Light Stream. Considering Fable is uh, What's it called? Considering Fable is a... Uh, is a special attacker. Earththorn is going to start getting off here. going to start doing some work. Let's see what happens with this. I think he's going to start trying to lead seed or iron defense. Something along those lines. Here goes a flare. Nice zesty flare coming out here. Doing a little bit of damage. He might follow me again, which would be totally fine. And what are you doing, Firethorn? I'm, I'm confused to what you're doing. You setting up an iron defense? He's just going to seed me. A buttery biscuit. I've been seeded. I have been seeded. Okay. So, with that seeds out, he might set up a defense. But I think we should be fine if I go into... I set up a terrain for myself. The lightning will take it out, no problem. Any of these moves will take out the fable, no problem. Do I want the speed boost? Do I want the terrain? I mean, if he has Regilecki in the back, I really don't want the terrain. But we might not even go for that. I do have Heatran. I'm just going to go for a speed boost for a squad. Let's go for a speed boost for a squad. Take you out. And then... They just fake tier on you. I'm just going to fake tier on the Ferrothorn just to make sure this Heat Wave takes him out next turn. We could protect here, right? Yep, there's protect. Alright, so I think we're ch totally chilling with this. I think one Heat Wave will be able to do enough damage for him. Because it is times four super effective. He's stealing grass. But I think we're looking decently good here. Airstream comes through. Airstream picks up the KO like I said it would. And we get ourselves a speed boost. So next turn, I can just drop a Heat Wave, get rid of that Ferrothorn, and set up whatever screen I need on his final Pokemon. We do have a light screen already up, so if he drops a physical attacker, then we'll just drop that uh that reflect. But if he drops a special attacker, I'm just gonna hit it with Spear Break, get that minus one special attack, and pretty much seal this battle up for us. But that was a huge turn one from us. Get that Zapdos rolling, hit him with that fake tears, and Tapu Fini is gonna come in here. So we already have light screen set up. It's over with. It is over with. Missy Surge out and about. And I'm just dropping this wonderful little heat wave. This beautiful little heat wave. He thought I was going to flare into him. He thought I was doing it to him. Alright, let's rock out. Let's go with the heat wave. Bang, do that. And just hit this thing with a spirit break. Just slap him down with a spirit break. I can see him canceling the battle here. Let's just see how he rolls out with this one. He might go one more turn. So I am seated. Like I said, I am leech seated. And Pharaoh Thorns, once they get set up, say he would have set up like an iron defense that turn, that would have been huge. But we're special attacking, so Iron Defense wouldn't really matter. But here goes my Heat Wave. Heat Wave just absolutely dumps on the Ferrothorn. Gets rid of him in one shot like I said it would. And it's going to be over with from here. Because once the Spirit Break rolls through, he's not going to be able to KO anything with the Light Screen and this special attack drop in. It's just, he just can't do it. And then I can just Thunderbolt next turn and pick up that easy KO. But, yo, are we going to get a, a sweep right here? No way you're killing me, right? No way. Yeah, yo, look at that, yo. Easy Eats, baby. Easy eats, and that wasn't even not very effective. That was just a normal move. Oh my lord, yo, get this dude out of my game. Get him out of here. Clean sweep for the Zapdos in game one. Dynamax him, bullied every single Pokemon, and went 4 0. It is too easy out here. It is too easy for your boy on the online rank double ladder. We're hopping into our second battle, looking to go back to back for today's video. This guy has Darmanitan, Thunderous, Lapras. Oh, ooh, Mr. Rhyme, okay. Mr. Rhyme up in here, Roboom, and Indeedee. I'm going to get Claydily rocking out here. I really do. I'm going to go Claydily, and I think I'm going to go Blastoise here as well. Try to get set up, try to get dominating. I think this is a decent play. 
I'm digging it. Actually, I don't even think we need Blastoids as a lead. I said we go Dust Cops and we Trick Room turn one. We could recover turn one as well. We could recover and and Trick Room and then Dynamax you and have Heatran in the back and Zapdos as a back back end hook. I really like. I really do dig. Let's rock it. Let's run it. Let's go for something crazy. Let's go for something crazy because you guys seen plenty of Zapdos. We even showed them off in uh, battle number one, but I bet you guys see them on the rank double ladder all the time. We're going for something cool. We're going to try to set up Trick Room, maybe recover first turn depending on who he leads, and just dump it on the team of Claydoly. Claydoly's sick. He is a really cool Pokemon, and I especially love that he's Storm Drain, and I really do like his typing of Rock and Grass. You don't see a lot of Rock and Grass Pokemon. He's going to drop Rhyme and Thunderous. Rhyme Ski and Thunderous. Okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. Does Rhyme have Fake Out? He, I think he does. I think he does. A Blunder Policy. What's Blunder Policy doing? It's something to do with speed. When he miss an attack or something. But yeah. Who, who do I want going? Who do I want going? I think I want you going. Go for this Trick Room. Go for this Trick Room. Try to pop off with this Trick Room. Paul's gonna come through here. Yeah, dude, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. We can do that all day. Rhyme's gonna go for a Blizzard. Lately, avoids it. That's huge. That is huge. And yo, uh, we got, we got, we gotta do a quick favor. Oh, there goes his Blunder Policy. So yeah, it's when he misses an attack, his speed goes up. I think. Meteor Beam pop. So yo, Thunderous, do us a favor. Get out of my game. So now we're not gonna Dynamax clearly, considering he just taunted up on me. No problem. We have Zapdos and Heatran in the back end for that. We're gonna go for a Meteor Beam here. Say, yo, Thunderous, out my game. There's no way you're Sash. Get him out of here. Get him out my face. <laughs> Big damage coming out there. Rocking out with it. Hopefully he throws out a physical attacker because I do have burn. Oh, I cannot burn. I cannot do the burns. I totally forgot. We're taunted. We're taunted up in here. And he's gonna send out his next Pokemon, which is going to be Lapras. So he's totally gonna Dynamax. 1,000% he's gonna Dynamax him. Um, I could go for a Giga Dream. That might do. He might just drop ice on me. Uh, let's go for... Do I po he could be policy, so... I'm actually just gonna go after you with the Giga Dream. And I guess we'll bulldoze. I mean, we have to, right? Or I can swap. Hmm. Let me swap in the Heat Train. Let me just swap in the Heat Train. Just so we have, uh... Let's go for later on. Because I think he's going to take out Kaleido here, no problem. That's what I, I really do think he's going to do. Is just get after the with a with a resonance and roll from there. So, with that said... Oh, no, I can't do that. I think I just made a bad play. That was a bad swap. I should just let uh, what's called go down. I should just let Dust Cops go down. Because I would need the Trick Room up in, or in order to pull those first. Let's see how this one plays out. Blizzard comes through here. Clearly avoids. And that's going to hit my boy Keytrain. Leave him alone. Keytrain should be able to have an easy eat there all day. And he's going to drop the residence, right? Yep, there goes the residence. Clay will eat up. Yo, say it's Tasty Snack. Oh, you're going to go after Keytrain. I take that all day. So a solid swap from us. A lovely little swap from us. Dude, I could have started charging up a Meteor Beam. But the thing is, if you start charging up one, it's going to be so easy to eat. Or block. You just hit the protect button. You know it's coming. In. You just know it's coming in there. Uh, we can go here. I can just recover this turn, which I think I'm going to do. The thing they're going to hit up on me. I'm just going to waste out these Dynamax turns. And I'm just going to protect my boy here. So I can see a geyser flowing through here. But let's just waste out these Dynamax turns. We have Zapdos in the back. We have Zapdos in the back. So I can just wait for the Dynamax there. Because he kind of counteracted my uh, what I want to do. Was set up a trick room. I did not think he was rocking tall on any of those Pokemon, but he was. I thought he was just gonna go for the fake out with the rhyme and just try to hit on me with the thunderous. But he had a taunt, he taunted my uh Ooh, you're going for hypnosis. Let me block that. Let me block that. Let me block that. Resonance is gonna come through. And he's gonna go after you. And we have a recover setup if we do do not die. Do not die. Let's go. Recover is coming out here. We're pestering these turns all day. All day. All dang day. We get some mean HP flowing up here. And do I just swap here? I think I just swapped. 
I think I just swap and we try to drop a flash cannon. I can't go for heat wave, but I think flash cannon is a little bit better here. Let's drop a flash cannon on that and swap my Claydolee. But I'd rather Dust Cops take damage than the Claydolee. Dust Cops is really going to be able to do nothing here. The lovely little swap. Hopefully he's still dropping that ice on me. Or he might be going for a geyser. You never know. And Lapras is a weakness policy. Hypnosis comes through and he's going to put me to sleep finally. So he put your boy to sleep. Good night, Heat Train. Heat Train, do a quick naps. Do a quick naps. And show me another resonance dropping. Gotta love it. Okay, so he, we basically waste out all of his turns. Dust Cop's gonna be able to eat this one up, no problem. We did not proc policy. We're chilling just fine. We are chilling just fine. I could set up a trick room. I could set up a trick room if I really want to, but I do not think that's the play at all. I think I'm just going to bulldoze on everybody. They're slowing everybody down, and I'm gonna try to get off this flash cannon. If I can wake up and hit this thing, get rid of this rhyme, we should be chilling. Because I'm not worried about the Lapras with Zapdos in the back end. Free strike coming through here. Eat this up. Eat it up. We do eat up. That's lovely. And you're going to go for a Hydro Pump. And we're still asleep. That's whack. Ice Beam going to fly through here. He doubling up. Yep, he's doubling up into the Dust Cops. Totally fine. Okay. So, one Pokemon I got to look out for is going to be that Rhyme. So, I think I'm just going to target him down. Dynamax and get out Zapdos. And I think I just go for a Heat Wave. Or well, not Heat Wave, a Max Flare. Because one, that sets, uh, that sets the weather up for my Heat Train. And two, that will definitely take out the Rhyme so he cannot put us to sleep. I feel like that's like the only way he kind of gets after us. Is so I put my Zapdos to sleep. I feel like that's his only way out here. But I think we're sitting really good. We played that super well. Wasted out his Dynamax turns beautifully. Made some good swaps with the Heatran and swapping in Dust Cops. Just so he couldn't pick up KO. But now we finally picked up KO. And it was only on my Dust Cops who isn't going to really do much besides set a Trick Room. And we're already committed to not playing with the Trick Room. But I think we're finding you outspeed me. Oh, the Blunder Policy, man. The Blunder Policy doing me dirty. That dose is slumped. Dude, please tell me we get at least one Dynamax turn out here. Heatran is slumped. I need to target down the rhyme. Hydro Pump's gonna fly through here. Can we eat this? I don't like this one bit. Can we eat that? Eat up. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Dang Mr. Rhyme coming in big. War Bell does wear off. And Claydolee, I need you here. Uh, what do I do with Claydolee? I cannot protect. I could recover. I could recover or I can go into a Giga Drain. What do I wanna do? I need to go for it. I need to wake up. Like, that's the thing. I need to wake up. I think we just drop a Giga Drain. Instead of recovering, because I think he's going to come after me hard. Ah, dang hypnosis. Here goes Freeze Dry coming out here. Can you eat up a Freeze Dry? You might not be able to. You do. That is lovely. Wake up. Oh my god. You get a Freeze. Get out of my face. And we're still asleep. Come on, man. Uh, we play that one pretty well. We play that one really well. It's just, dude, he put us to sleep and kind of just ran us from there. Kind of just ran us from there. Alright. Comes down to this. Comes down to this. Can Zapdos clutch up? I can see him doing it. We are going to need up this. We're going to need this flare. We're going to need to take out this this rhyme. That's that's step one to this comeback. But if we get a third three turn sleep, we're totally not winning this one. I think sleep needs, needs a little nerf. It is really broken in my opinion. Wow. Rhyme is just running us. We wake up. We need to be, be able to eat. We need to be able to eat. Which I don't think we're going to be able to eat this ice beam. I don't think we're going to be able to eat up, eat up this ice beam. Maybe he's going for a hydro pump. Maybe he's going for that. That would be nice. We have the drought going. Let's see his turn. Life Orb going to take us up some damage. And ice beam is going to come in here. And finish off that battle. God dang, dude. I thought we were going to actually clutch that one up. After his Lapras was gone. But Ryan had Hypnosis. Put two of my Pokemon to sleep. And we weren't even able to get off a turn in those final few turns. Very unfortunate that we lost that last battle. Considering we played decently well. And he only won because of Hypnosis. And that is something I have no control over. So we basically lost to something that I couldn't control. But it's all good. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for a winning record here. We're sitting at 1-1. One and, one. and this guy has that Steam Engine Colossus. And when Series 10 comes out, Colossus is going to be gone. I don't think we're going to see any of him anymore because Dynamax will be out of the picture. And nobody's going to want to use a Steam Engine Colossal team without Dynamax. So this might be the last time you guys see him on the channel for a good while. But I'm going to lead. I think we're going to lead uh, 
Dust Claps and Heat Train. Maybe Protect Turn 1? I do have Flash Fire. I do have lovely little Flash Fire. I'm gonna go zap those here. Because I definitely wanna try to get off a Trick Room. I definitely wanna try to get off a Trick Room if I can. If Jeans can. Let's see how this one plays out. We got that and final Pokemon. I could try to set up a screen. Let's withdraw them. No, you know what? No, I want Heat Train. Zap those. And final Pokemon. Are we going to go Blastoids or Claydol? Let's go Blastoids. Let's go Blastoids in the back. We haven't used them yet in today's video, so hopefully we can get rocking with them. We did get to show off Claydol a little bit in that last uh, battle. We got to show off a Meteor Beam for him. He dumped on that Thunderous, no problem, which I really did like. Well, let's see who this person leads. Like, it's, I'm thinking it's going to be that Dragapult and the Colossal, but I hope not. But most likely it is, right? Let's see it. Dragapult and Colossal. Ooh. No way! <laughs> I was never expecting that. We go with Dust Cops and Heat Trans, so he cannot drop a Flash Fire on me. He might have Quake, but we do have that Berry. We do have that lovely little Berry. He is going to be safe goggles. I think he's still just going to Surf. He might proc our policy. Surf, right? I'm just going to trick him and... I mean, I'm just going to protect here. I'm going to protect. I can proc policy next turn with a full do, so it's no big deal. And we do have a Wakanda. Right? No, no. Why, why did I think we have a Wakanda? Berry? Who has a berry? What's called has a berry? Uh, Blast Witch does. So there's the easy Dynamax from him. He might drop a Quake. He might drop a Rock. He might double up into my Dust Cops. Which could be tough, because if he KOs my Dust Cops, we pretty much lose this game. Surf coming through here. His lovely little Surf coming in through here. Hopefully he's going for a Quake. Surf. And show me that Quake. Show me you're dropping a Quake. Surf comes through. Bink. Triggers his weakness policy. Steam Engine is going to get blown. Dust Cops need you to eat. Need you to eat if he's coming after you. Or show me you're, you're using Quake. Show me you're Quaking up. Into my Heat Train slot. Let's see what you got, man. You're gonna go for the Quake. This should be my Heat Train slot, right? It goes into my desktop slot, and he's able to eat that up all day long. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. He's getting that special defense boost, which I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with. Trick Room is popping. Now do I Dynamax the Heat Train? That's a real call. He tries taking out my desk cops. We say, yo, we're too bulky for you. Get out of my face. Uh, we're going to bulldoze here. Slow down everybody. And then more importantly, Dynamax you and go for Max Quake. That's the play. That is the play. And Max Quake should be able to take out Colossal no problem whatsoever. If he doesn't Max Guard. But I see him Max Guard. He might set up a, a Reflect here or a Light Screen. Because I, I think that's what this uh, Dragon Bolt set is. It's just pestering and support. So it's probably rocking uh, Thunder Wave Surf and then Screens. That's what I could save, man. But we'll see. You never know. You never know. He ends up guarding, so smart, buttery biscuit play by him. Bulldoze pops through. And I'll be able to quake up on him next turn. Or I gotta see what other Pokemon he has. I gotta see what other Pokemon he does have. Dang, of course we got a critical hit on my own Pokemon. That shouldn't be allowed. Like, that is ridiculous. Nice max guard from him, and what are you going with onto that, uh, what's it called? With that Dragon Ball. What are you doing with that Dragon Ball? See what you're doing. He's gonna screen. So, uh, like I said, he's screened up. Okay. Um, let me see something real quick. Let me see his Pokemon. Does he have any flying Pokemon to swap He doesn't. So, Max, oh wait, he does. That Togekiss behind? Who is that? Behind the Colossal. I can't even see it. I think it's Togekiss. Do I still go for the Quake? Hmm. I'm just gonna taunt up on you. Do I still go for the Quake? I'm gonna go for a Steel Spike. I'm gonna say he swaps into a kiss. Okay, we take that. Well, I'll take that all day. Why would he swap like that? I'll take that all day because we get the defense boost. I thought he was swapping in a toad kiss. That's a weird swap though. Let's see how this one plays out. Steel Spike kind of pop through here. 
Should bring it down to Sash, right? If he is Sash, but it's not very effective. So I'll take that defense boost and get that big damage off on him. That was whack. <laughs> that was a weird change. I don't know why he went like that. Break and swipe comes through. That's totally fine. He gets an attack drop on me. That is totally fine. Considering we are special attack, so I do that. We did taunt up on you. Um, I could just start throwing Will O Wisp. I'll Wisp on you and. Uh, do, what about you go from here? You can go for Steel Spike and try to take out Dragapult. Get another defense boost here as well. Aqua Jet comes through. That's totally fine. We're going to be able to soak that up. No problem. And get off a lovely little will o -Wisp. And we'll just do pester damage on this guy for the rest of the battle. To finish off that Urshfu. But yo, I really, I looked at the camera like I read that Tokus. Because he swapped. I was like, yo, he's got to be swapping in Tokus. It would have been insane if we would have made that hard read. But we bring this guy down that low. And I'm surprised. Oh no, he has the light screen up. That's why he's soaking up. That's why he's soaking up. I was going to say, I'm surprised he's soaking up so many shots. Just goes for another break and swipe. And finally takes out my dust cops, which I'm totally with. Gets a crit. What you mean? <laughs> Gets a crit. Attack drop onto my heat tram. And Burns are just going to start pestering onto this urge All right. Now we bring out my boy. Now do we bring out my boy? Or do we bring out Zapdos? Because I can just protect. I'm just going to protect Zapdos this round. All right. I think protecting Zapdos is going to be the play. We're bulky enough on defense to soak up whatever hits he has. Like an Aqua Jet and just be able to drop a Heat Wave and be fine. I, I just really think I need you to be protected. And I'm going to need this Heat Wave to be able to pick up KOs on some of these Pokemon. Maybe I should have dropped a Flare before I did anything. But a Flare would help him out considering he has uh, the Rock guy in the back. Colossal. But I see another Aqua Jet coming through here. He's not going to be able to do like, any damage to me considering he's burned. And we're plus two on the defensive uh, stat category. So we're just protecting the bird, making sure he doesn't go down. We should be fine. He's going to end up with John Urch too. So I'm cool with that. You're still burned. We're going to go back out into you with no stat changes. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Are you going to surf again? Is that his plan? Is he going to surf again? Just get that steam engine popping? Let's see. Let's see the play. So we end up taking out the dragon pole, doing a little bit of damage over there. And steam why is steam engine popping? Is it when you get hit by a fire move too? I thought it was water. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm a little confused here. I thought it was just water. This might be my first time finding that out. It pops with fire? That's a little weird. That is a little weird. But Trick Room did end, which is uh, a little bit better for us. We do have T-Bolt, which I, I got to double down into you. Uh, he could end up protecting. But again, I'm not really too worried about that Urshifu at all. I'm going to double down into you. See what he does from there. I still have my Blast Suites in the back end. And Urshifu's going to protect him. Ooh, gotta love it. I think we're going after Urshifu. He's burned. He's going to do nothing. Rock side popping. Uh, Zapdos needs you, need you to eat up a little bit. Thank you. And no flinches for you guys. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to be flinched. Thank you, Zapdos. Zapdos is listening right now. Heatran, you gotta listen to. Listen to your listen to your master. Thank you, Heatran. Love you. Love you, Heatran. EP comes out, picks up the KO onto the Colossal. We double through. Get that KO just as I want it. And Urshfu is still burned. He's just gonna get chipped away here. I think it, one more burn. He should go down. No. No. And the light screen finally wears off. He is rocking Aqua Jet, and I just don't see him KO in any of my Pokemon with it. Real Boom's gonna, ooh, Real Boom's gonna be final Pokemon. Might fake out an Aqua Jet. Might be his play. Um, do I double through onto Real Boom? I think we have to double through onto the Real Boom. I am gonna go for the Hurricane, considering if I land it, it's game over for him, and I'm gonna go for the Sea Wave. That's the plan. That's the Gene's plan. Let's see what he does here. They don't want to force a, fi uh, a protect. Big out comes through. Static. Ooh, baby, get a big paralyze on him. Big old paralyze. That there's flinches. Charge and strikes can come through here. Can we eat? Can we eat? He's trying his plus two. Who are you going after first? Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to eat. Oh, crits go through defense. Crits go through defense. That's rough news. Mm. You buttery biscuit. Okay. What's the play here? Crits go through defense. 
What is the play now? Learn's chipping. Coming down. It is coming down to the wire here. He doesn't have fake out. He can glide. But I do have fake out here as well. Okay. I think I fake out. I don't see an aqua jack killing. I don't see an aqua jack killing. I'm going to go for heat wave and a fake out. It's going to be play. I could fake out the Urshfu, but I just don't want him getting off that grassy guide and being able to take out my uh, Blast Weeks in Prom. The fake out comes out with the claps. Aqua Jet coming through. Can we eat? We do. Beautiful. Burn coming up big for us. Heat Wave's going to fly through. Can we take out Urshfu with this? I think we should be able to. And get off some nice damage. Yep. Get off some huge damage onto the Real Boom. And no, dude. The Life Orb's going to take us out. The Life Orb is going to take us out. No way we're losing this battle. Alright, there's one way, and one way only. Paralyze needs to clutch up for us. Paralyze needs to clutch up for us. Wait, how many turns left in a surge? That's a real question. Pokemon, let's see, info. Three, okay, so Protect's gonna do nothing for us. We just gotta go straight for this Ice Beam. Paralyze, let's go, Poke Gods. Show it to me. Show it to me, baby. No way! Ice Beam, win it! Win it, baby! Yo, get him out of here. This guy's salty. This guy is salty. Pokey Gods, thank you so much for the Paralyze. We get ourselves a win and grab ourselves that winning record. One of the craziest ends to a battle that I had in a while. We got that Paralyze exactly when we needed it, and I feel good about it. Considering that stuff happens to me all the time, it feels good to be on the other end and get lucky and grab ourselves a win because of it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.